some controversy over school lunches in Chickasha. A father says his kids just aren't getting enough to eat. KOCO's Ariana Garza sat down with him and the superintendent to learn more. Both the superintendent and the father agree that the kids are not getting enough food, but they disagree on how that's happening. Vince Halton says this is all his kids got for lunch on Monday. My kids come home yesterday and wiped me out of food because they came home hungry. He says this is the second time his 12 year old son and 17 year old daughter only got meat and crackers for lunch. And the one at 17 is pregnant, so she kind of needs to eat. I mean, she needs to feed her child she's carrying. But Superintendent David Cash says Holton's daughter did not understand her options. There was uh, meat and cheese and crackers and pears and baked beans and cauliflower and milk would have been the meal of choice. So in this instance, you know, we had a student that, that was a misunderstanding and, and didn't get all of the food. Halton doesn't buy it, so he met with a nutritionist this morning and showed them a picture of his daughter's lunch. They said that was not the full tray that they were served yesterday. So from your under you don't think your daughter forgot to pick something up? You think that's just what she got? Uh, I believe that's what she got, yes. she. Is. Has never been one to lie to me before. Neither has my other one. Despite the disagreement, Cash says even the full school meals are not enough. We have calorie restrictions, and we're uh, obligated to meet those in order to get the money from the federal government to provide free and reduced meals. So we almost feel held hostage to provide certain requirements, certain food groups. He says that's because the USDA is trying to combat childhood obesity, but he wants them to promote physical activity instead of limiting meals. And the superintendent says that the school district does take nutrition seriously, so if you have a complaint, to voice it with his office. In Chickasha, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News.